today i'm going to show you how you can encrypt and decrypt a file using aes algorithm it means advanced encryption standards algorithm okay but in this tutorial i'm going to show you no like key based security so we are going to discuss on key based security <coughs> So basically this is a key based security and in key based security we are going to generate key pair. So we are going to generate AES key and another key will be initialization vector. So I will show you how you can generate key pair first and then using uh, by generating the keys after generating the key we are going to encrypt this file. So you can see there is a file a.txt and this is a simple text file okay this is a very simple text file remember you don't need to install any software on your ubuntu or kali or Red Hat machine to do this encryption decryption by default all the softwares are installed and they come with open ssl package now i am going to show you how to generate key pair the command to generate the key pair is open ssl uh, let me zoom this screen so that you can see the command clearly okay so i'm going to change the setting appearance okay so i'm typing open ssl elc no salt i don't want salt value so i say no salt and the algorithm as256 cbc algorithm and a small key okay hyphen a small key now you can type your keyword or you can say a password like suppose my password is satish123 satish123 dash as dash as is the algorithm here satish123 is the keyword or you can say the like a password okay and then i am going to print the key pair so print hyphen capital p and press enter now you can see two key pair has been generated this is as key this is AES key and the second one is IV which is initialization vector initialization vector so in this way you can generate key pair okay now using this key pair we have to encrypt this file a.txt how to encrypt this file I'm going to show you open SSL ELC dash no short and the algorithm AES256 CBC this is the algorithm now in input i am going to encrypt the file which file a.txt and i am going to encrypt a.txt to suppose b.txt so here i have decided that i am going to encrypt a.txt into b.txt and one more thing here i have typed no salt we have to type enc no salt okay the AES algorithm 256 CVC input file a.txt output b.txt it means a.txt will be encrypted into b.txt but here we are going to use two keys and two algorithms so uh, one more algorithm I am going to use that is base 64 algorithm and using this base 64 algorithm I am going to encrypt this file so I am going to use two algorithm AES 256 CVC algorithm and base 64 algorithm to encrypt the file a.txt into b.txt also i am going to use two key with the key pair i have generated above and hyphen k k stand for key pair so the as key so copy this as key so just select from here i just select it and then right click here it will be pasted okay then a space high v iv means initialization vector so you can see this is initialization vector value so copy this value and paste it here just right click it will be pasted automatically and press enter done using this above command i have encrypted a.txt into b.txt so you can see a b.txt a new file which is encrypted version of a.txt has been created so now i am going to delete the simple text and now i have an encrypted file only b.txt you can see cat b.txt and you can clearly see this, this that this b.txt is encrypted now how to decode the question is how to decode this file using the above key you can also decode this key how to decode this file run the command open ssl enc no salt and the algorithm first algorithm as256 cbc the name of the first algorithm so i have given this algorithm and then hyphen d we want to decrypt decrypt which file b.txt into 
the output file name you can give any file name any new file name suppose so this dot txt so i am going to encrypt decrypt b dot txt into satish dot txt and you know we have used two algorithms so i have to use the another algorithm also base 64 you can see here i have used as 256 as well as base 64 so i have to use both algorithm as 256 and base 64 okay so i have used the both algorithm then hyphen k hyphen k means key so the as key so just copy the as key and then paste it here then hyphen iv iv is initialization vector just copy the initialization vector value and paste it here and press enter done let's check run ls command you can see satish.txt here the decrypted file cat satish.txt let's check and you can see your original content is here the file has been decrypted b.txt has been decoded to satish.txt back using this command let me show you by the running history command first of all line number 48 to generate the key pair remember li using line number 48 you can generate the key pair in key pair there will be two keys as key as well as iv initialization vector now in this key pair this is satish.123 the secret password okay secret code so you have to remember this only if you remember this you can generate key anytime anywhere on any machine the second command line number 50 this is used to encrypt the file a.txt into b.txt using two algorithm as256 cbc and base64 algorithm and we need two key the as key first the as key and the second is initialization vector line number 55 is used to decode the file used to decode the file b.txt to satish.txt and the same algorithm as256 and base64 this is known as symmetric key based security means this is also a symmetric cryptography because we are using the same algorithm and same keys to lock and unlock the file but this is not the password based security this is key based security because the file is protected by two algorithm and two keys so if you want to decode this file you need both keys if any of these keys is missing you will not be able to decode this file okay and remember algorithm must be the same as256 and base 64 to encrypt and as256 cbc and base 64 to decrypt too so for encoding and decoding both algorithms will be required both keys will be required and then you will be successfully able to encode and decode the file i hope you guys understand and if you want such more videos don't forget to like share this video with your friends and ask your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching